of the Biafra Freedom in the name of Super Pika Biafra. Long live Biafra, long live Martin Namdekano, long live Martin Simon Nepa, long live the Biafra monarchs, custodians of culture and tradition, and sincere Biafra freedom fighters in the name of Chukwu Kajiama. <laughs> You must listen to her. Of course, you must go and listen to Simon Nepa, who is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Nepa is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. IPOB one family, Biafrans all over the world. If we want safety and security for our people, then let's continue to support Eastern Security Network. All donations are welcome. No contribution is too small or too large. Do your part knowing that freedom is in our hands and together we must all rise to the occasion. Go to our website to make your contribution, www dot i p o b i n u s a dot o r g slash donate and remember that freedom is not free but together we restore it farm by farm forest by forest house by house and street by street <laughs> you must listen to that of course you must go and listen to Simon Nepa, who is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Nepa is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important.
Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. We are here this evening once again to continue the awareness for Biafra liberation and the Biafra breakaway and Biafra exit from Nigeria come 2023. Today, I must congratulate Biafra people because a lot is happening. A lot has happened and a lot continue to happen. First of all, I want to inform you that we are making very big progress. We are making progress. The progress we are making is what I have come this evening to explain to you. The progress we are making is what I have come this evening to tell you. The progress we have made so far is what I have come this evening to tell you. Some of you do not know the kind of progress we have made today. The progress we made today is that, one, the people who organized Mega Rally, nobody attacked them. Nobody attacked them. Number two, the progress we made today is that those who the mega rally were organized for, or those who were contesting for president in Nigeria that they organized the mega rally were not present in that mega rally. <laughs> the progress we have made today is that Peter Obi was missing in Imo State. The progress we made today is that Dati was missing in Imo State. The progress we made today is that those who claim they want to go to Nigeria were not found in Imo State. It is only ignorant youth, those who came from different parts of Nigeria that were there protesting or, should I say, you know, marching on the streets of Imo State. It was a big progress. Because Peter B could not have the liver to enter Biafra land in a mega rally. Peter B do not have the liver to enter Imo State. Did you see him? He don't have the liver. The one in the Mauritania guy oh, did not also have the liver. They came and People came from a those states because you know some of them, Bini, some of them the southern part of Nigeria, some of them from Kogi, some of them from our brothers from the South South. They all gathered in Imo State, and they entered Imo State two days before. They came online and started flying the news that they have postponed. They postponed the the rally till third of no, of uh, September. And people were sending it to me. So people were sending the information to me. Oh, they have postponed the, the rally. They have postponed the rally. And, you know, they are asking us to cancel the seat at home. I looked at them and I laughed. Because what we know, they don't know it. I looked at them. And I laughed. They said they have postponed it to say the like, rally is not holding you know. Do you know? that they have this their their whatsapp and the network messages where they were where they were messaging everybody don't make it public don't say just go and say we have cancelled it just say, so that they will you know they were taking us on our way they don't know that we have people even in those in those group they have network where they create and they were messaging each other you know we have to go we have to make it, let us announce it that we have cancelled it so that we we'll take the money on our way. All this information, we have it. And everybody was expecting for the people to be attacked. Who is going to attack them? We don't attack people. Any day you see that they are being attacked, is being organized by Nigeria State. We don't attack. We don't attack. <laughs> They expected, oh, immediately they arrive over there. The government will fool everywhere. 
our government don't fight innocent, ignorant people. No. Our government don't fight in it. Our government were trained to fight full and terrorists in the forest. Our government are not trained to fight innocent, ignorant people who don't know what they are doing. So they were expecting us to unleash Biafra securities on them, to start chasing and shooting them. Any day such thing will happen, it is not from us. But I know they are going to do it one day. <laughs> okay? They are going to do it. But any day you see, I want to set it, I want to make it to be a record now. Any day you see that gunmen attack the people that are ignorantly, you know, roaming the streets of Biafra, especially those hired. Hired. Hiring does not mean that you pay the money. These are desperate, ignorant, other part of Nigerians, very, very desperate to sabotage Biafra. Or they want to say Biafra will not come. They want to stop Biafra from coming. So they are even investing their own money to transport themselves to worry. They are investing their own heart, heart and money. So when you when you say hired, they are not as hired. You know, people, people really didn't pay them. But I'm telling you today, we, we are inside them. And we know what they are doing. Believe me. We are inside them. We know what they are doing. So the crowd you saw in a way, it was not up to one million. At the end of the day, of course, I will work with even 500,000. was not up to that. But let me tell you one thing. One thing you must know is that some of them came from a those state. Some of them from Lagos. Some of them from uh, Kogi. Some of them from Owere. Some of them from other parts of the Afra land. Those who support who are ignorantly, ignorantly supporting Obi. So they came to Owere the previous day. Those who were in the East came to Owere the previous day. And they started gathering. <laughs> they started gathering. And we were just laughing at them. Now, the question you should ask yourself, why isn't Pito B? Why didn't you see Pito B there? They brought chair. Put it on the, on the street. They put the picture of Pito B, picture of that, and it was on the street. I want to inform you people that we made a very big progress today. And that is why you hear this music. That is why we play this music for all those activities. Onabago, Onabago, for one night. Onabago, Olusigo, for one night. Oloriazo, Razo, Kobo, oh, for one night. Hanabago, Halusigo, for one night. Doria Zura Zuka Habo, the Titanio for one night. This is why we play this music today. Because I want to inform the Afrans that today have confirmed that we have achieved Biafra. I am telling you the fact. Because Obi was not there in his own land. Obi was not there. Obi could not come. Obi was in Igbo State the other day. He was in Igbo State. He came. We know he was coming. We know. He was in Igbo State. Nobody harassed him. Nobody molested him. We are not interested in that. He came unannounced to Igbo State. We know. He went, he came there and he left. And let me tell you. The reason why some of them, like if you look at those, all those people that are making videos on social media about uh, oh, Pito B, they say it is the Igbo people, it is his own brothers that are against him. We are not against Obi. We are against Obi running to become the president of Nigeria when we are already in our door, when Biafra and the freedom is already in our doorstep. That is why the people that are Shouting will be, will be are mainly not Igbos. They are more from a those state upward, from Kogi, and so on and so forth. So what do you do today? What do they see today? They came to Imo State one day, two days earlier.
they begin to share the news. If you, are you going to tell me that you didn't see that they have postponed the, the rally? Ask yourself, why did they postpone the mega rally and still have it today? Because they have it among themselves. They have the messages among themselves. They created the network thinking that they are deceiving us. And we say, once we have declared it at home, we are not taking it back. That is the way it should be. But I want to inform you that Obi did not come. Obi did not come. That he did not come. And he will never come. Because he knows. He knows that even the country itself is not at peace with them. They know that the security agent will even organize attack against them. Obi know even the Nigeria army can organize attack against him in Imo state. And for that reason, he didn't show up. And everybody was saying, oh, where is Biafra? You should come and attack them. We don't attack people. We have made our point very clear. We don't attack innocent and especially ignorant Nigerians. We don't attack. Why should we attack them? We don't attack people. We don't attack those who are harmless. We attack those with AK-47 and they are terrorists. These are the people we, the Biafra uh, security, the Eastern Security Network are after in our forest. So we don't attack uh, innocent, uh, ignorant Nigerians. So if you are waiting for us to attack them, you are going to wait till that kind But let me tell you, because we know as time goes on, the, you know, you are going to see that they are going to get tired of coming to stay overnight. Even though they are spending their own money, they are looking for one, you know, they have to squat with one friend, one another, you know, come to stay in my place, come to stay in my place. So very soon they are going to get tired. Is it not election? This is campaign. They are going to get tired. We are not going to attack them. But let me tell you, Nigeria will arrange attack against them. DSS will bring their unknown government to attack them. Nigeria army, with the full armies, they will bring unknown government to attack them. And why are they going to attack them to blackmail us? It is going to happen. <laughs> so, as you are participating in this particular, uh, um, uh, you know, fake and the failed on arrival mega rally in Biafra land, be very, very careful because you don't know where, which of the rally they are going to come for you people. It is not going to come from us. Nigeria State will do it because we will maintain and we continue to maintain that anything political rally and anything political activities is suspended in Biafra land. That is our position. And because we have pronounced it, they are going to do everything to sabotage it. So we are announcing it on time, ahead of time. <laughs> ahead of time. They are drinking such as water. Thank you very much. But let me tell you, another progress is that after this Imo State rally, the Nigeria IG, IG of police, summon courage for the very first time he summoned courage to come and announce this did you see it security forces will deal with ipob 2023 election will hold in southeast do you understand who is he responding to he's responding to the ipob autopilot have any other ipob announced that they don't want election to hold in biafra land the answer is no have any other ipob come to say election will not hold in biafra land i'm asking you have there is there any other ipob we have only one ipob autopilot and the nigeria state haven't observed very well what happened in Imo State? The IG summoned courage. And this is actually what we are waiting for. We have been waiting for this statement from the, from the police. But what I don't know is that we are not doing the activity we are doing as Nigerians. What the IG of police don't know is that we are already in the liberation phase of Biafra. So, you know, technically, we are not, uh, you know, obeying Nigeria law. I am telling you, technically, we are no longer obeying Nigeria law. 
Nigerian law and Nigerian constitution does not exist in our mind. That is what this is all about. We are already in liberation. Liberation is that we are going to fight those who have been killing us, and we are making it very clear. So if he come to say a lesson must hold, it's because he, he watched what happened in Nemo State and he summoned courage. <laughs> and that is what we want him to do. And he have done it. So I hope that um, I, I hope that uh, he will live up to the uh, to the expectation. You know, I hope that he will come and force people to go and vote during the election time. I hope that he will live. It, it is not just about you know bragging how election we hold in Biafra land. This IG of police should also assure you that your life will be protected, not just in Biafra land. Not just in Biafra land. The IG of police should assure you of your life being protected in Lagos. You should assure you that your life will be protected in, uh, um, uh, in uh, Kaduna. He should assure you that your life will be protected in Abuja, where he was talking from. He should assure you that your life will be protected while you are traveling for Mega Rale to the, in the Southeast. He should assure you all those things, but he will not assure you that. He will not assure you your life must be protected. He will not assure you you must not be attacked by Fulani bandits and terrorists. He will not assure you in the Kaduna that I am assuring you today that no Fulani will come to attack you again in Santa Kaduna. He's not going to assure you that because Autumn have cried, he, uh, you are not going to you 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 are not going to be killed. And for that reason, let us bring Governor Autumn's declaration for war. Autumn declaration for war. Let us bring it. Governor Autumn declaration for war. Manner. Manner. You have also heard that Abuja, where the seat of government in Nigeria is, is under siege. Abuja, where the seat of Nigeria is, is under siege. Abuja is under siege. But the IG of police did not assure you that your life will be protected in Abuja, but is assuring you that election we hold in the southeast in 2023. So finally, he responding to autopilot. Ben we said it's on a siege. We cannot continue to just uh, play around and allow. Ben state is under siege. We cannot continue to play around. Why the IG of police of Fulani protecting and shielding those who have hold Benue State under siege is not responding. He is not promising you that he's going to rescue Benue State. He is not promising you that he's going to rescue Abuja. He is not promising you that he's going to rescue Southern Kaduna, but he's promising and assuring you that election we hold in Biafra land. I want you to understand this. Allow them to continue. We are equal to the tax. And today we are sending a message that Benue State is ready to confront the Fulanese from Niger, from Mali, from Senegal, from Mauritania, from Libya, from Cameroon, who wants to take over Nigeria as their land. The IG of police, who is working for the bandits and the terrorists, is not making the promise. Rather, Governor Autumn is making promise to his state after many years of manslaughter, after many years of genocide, after many years of war crime, after many years of crime against humanity by Fulani bandits in his own state. 
the IGP is not coming to tell Governor Autumn and Benue people that they are going to help security, they are going to protect their life, they will make that the women are no longer running away from their land, they will not make they will make sure that those people who have, that are now living in IDP camp for almost five years will go back to their ancestral land. The IGP of police responsibility is to make sure that the election hold in their property. And we have made them to come out and make this statement that we have waited for. This is the statement we have been waiting for for a very long time. And finally, the statement is here. We are going to stop it. We did it in 2004, and we are going to do it again. Yes, let's, let me find out this from you. You don't have what you call the Venice Livestock Guard, which is to implement the open grazing prohibition law. What is the job description of these guards? Uh, already we already have that now, and they are implementing it. We have prosecuted and already uh, convicted over 400 Fulani herdsmen who have besieged the state. We have impounded over 25,000 heads of cattle. They have impounded over 24,000 heads of cattle. They have jailed 400. And this whole action was not coming from the Fulani IG of police. It was not his action. It was, it was not his order. It was the responsibility of Governor Otrum. He took it upon himself, and that is why he announced set up security outfit. Because the Fulani IGP, who is now boasting after watching Imo State Charade, is now boasting of how he is going to make sure he is going to deal with IPOB. He said... Security forces will deal with IPOB. 2023 election we held in Southeast. This man, IGP, have not boasted that security forces will deal with those killing Governor Autumn and his people in the state. He has not done that. Those who pay fine, they we release it to them. And those who did not pay, we were able to auction those cattle. That is what the law says. And so this is another phase of ensuring that we secure our land. We are ready to go with them. I'm ready to go to war with those people who have volunteered. These people are not going to be paid. Governor Atom want to go to war against those invading foreigners that the Nigeria Inspector General of Police is backing. But the Inspector General of Police is not ready to go to war with the full and terrorist, but he is ready to go to war with IPO. Inspector General of Police want to go to war with IPOB. And when he talk up to IPOB, he is talking to us. He is talking to us, the autopilot, not you. He is talking to autopilot, not you. Not the criminals who have chased away. Because they have never made any comment on the election now. Did you ever hear them saying a lesson will not hold in Biafra land or a lesson is going to hold in Biafra land? The only thing they are saying is that they're even supporting the election. So the criminals, they are supporting the election. They are supporting PVC. So definitely the IGP or the IGP or his general police was not referring to any other person other than the IPOB, original IPOB autopilot. You know, we told you that we announced the original IPOB. And let us see anybody that is going to do anything. They say, Shabi, they tell you, oh, IPOB is organization. IPOB is registered. IPOB is this. We announced IPOB. Tell them to drag anybody to court. Huh? We are telling them, you know that time they say, oh, you can't be IPOB. IPOB is a registered organization. IPOB, we kept quiet waiting for this time to come. And when we come to say autopilot is a neat name, they say, oh, we are running away from autopilot again. Oh, oh they are running away from autopilot. And they don't want to answer autopilot. Who told you that? We are autopilot, but we are original IPOB. And IPOB is our name. IPOB is our name. You remember the time that we are telling you, IPO, you are not a member. You are not a registered member. You are not IPOB. And uh, we are going to we are going to do this. We are going to do that. Take them to court. Yeah. Woo! 
I told them that Mumwa can chase them out of IPOB. They say it's a lie. I said the time is coming. You will not, you will not, you will be so ashamed to go to a meeting. The time is now. That time is now. Did you not, did you all not watch when I said it? Did you all not watch it? I told them. The time is coming that all of you will not even attend your meeting. It started here in Finland. It started here in Finland. Those people that started that thing in Finland, they are nowhere to be found today. They can't go and they can't even sit down and organize and sit. They can't. They can't sit down. Fuck. And today, you see that uh, on a meme. So I have just come to inform you that the progress made today is awesome. The progress we made today is awesome. The progress we made today is that P2B could not come out in his own land. The pro progress we made today is that his running mate could not come out. Only thing you see is the those, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 burying somebody in his absence. <laughs> they are in Nigeria. All of them are in Nigeria, running to become a president of Nigeria. Running to become president of Nigeria. Yet, they could not attend mega rally in their own land. All of them. Are you, are you okay? I am asking you, are you people okay? Somebody is running to become president of Nigeria. And the, the youth came and transported themselves from neighboring state to Imo state to have one million match for, for the for the for the so-called presidential aspirant. They could not attend it. They could not attend their own rally. They brought chair. In fact, I have to look for the video. They dropped empty chair, empty seat in the street. They were Ana ba, ana flower. Okwane un empty seat picture. The only place we have seen something like that is in a movie. <laughs> I have never. If you think that, <laughs> I am telling you, the only place we have seen the shameful thing we saw today in Imo State is in a movie. In a movie where where somebody will be. Like the one in Germany, where they say he was in Germany, and uh, and they uh, went to get married, and uh, they have to do marriage by with photo, photo, <laughs> photo. It's unbelievable, and they are sharing the picture. They are sharing it. It is unbelievable. The worst part is that Peter Obi was in Owere just few days ago. So let us even say, okay, he's not in Nigeria. He was busy receiving uh, 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 this uh, the kuti, Femi and Nicola kuti or something. He was busy re refusing, uh, re receiving him. I saw a picture where Peter did receive uh, uh, Femi and Nicola kuti. What is his name? You know, Fela's uh, son. While people were shouting in Imo State, he couldn't honor them. He couldn't give them, you know, he couldn't come to show that he was ready to leave Nigeria. It is a shameful thing. The deal they did today was a marriage. Marriage of Ndi Rope and then the Nigeria. While the husband is still in Nigeria and could not travel to Imo State. The husband is not in Germany. 
the husband of this youth were not in Germany. The husband of this youth were not in Sweden. The husband of this youth was somewhere hiding in Anambra or in Lagos or in, uh, in Abuja. He could not take flight of one hour to go to Uwere to say, let me come and uh, make this youth to see me. He couldn't do it. Arrange it is called what? Arrange, arrange marriage. And these are the people who will be telling Salmanata, come, come back, let us fight it. Come back, come and lead. Come and lead. Somebody who is fighting to become a president is not even, he's not even there to lead with you. He, is, he has started audio leading, audio, audio campaign. <laughs> I want you people to draw very sensible thing from what I'm saying today. This thing we are doing is beyond your human imagination. Emily, I will be. Will be. <laughs> okay? The, and the, the people who are telling me to come mm. and the, the, the people supporting people will be from Bini, from part of Yoruba, from uh, Kogi State, from part of Benue, all of them, they are the one telling me to come and lead the, and lead Biafra from front. Obi is not leading. Obi is there with you in Nigeria. He is not leading. Let him come to be part of the mega rally. But he didn't do that. And he's not ready to do it. Maka, Huh? He was, you know, he was, you know, he was he part of the one million match? Obi was, you know, where did you see him there? He didn't come there. I know that Obi was, you know, where last uh, few days ago. We know all this. We know their movement now. He was, you know, where last just few days ago. The question now is, why didn't Obi come to lead the youth from front? Eh? Why? Okay, somebody say he was in worry. Okay, I didn't know that. He was in a number. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I want you people to understand the scam of these people. Because they were expecting that their friends will come and attack them. Nobody is going to attack anybody. Because the people that are going to attack them at the end of the day are the same Nigeria government. It is going to happen. Go, go and mark it. It's going to happen. When they least expect. Is when it's going to happen, and it's going to be organized by the same Nigeria DSS. So, but any place you see those people telling you to for Samaneta to come and lead from the front, tell them that Obi should live by example. You are fighting for somebody to become a president. Now, the person has not even been a president. He can't attend ordinary rally. You are organizing for him free of charge. He didn't pay you money. For that rally, he didn't give you transportation for that rally. Whether he's giving you through by proxy, we don't know. But at least, according to people who know him, he has not invested not one naira in that campaign, so he cannot give you money. And if he has given you money, he must have given you the money through a third party, because Obi is a is a very fraudulent person. He is going to organize somebody, organize some group, and say, give them this money, you know, and the person will be giving the money to the youth in the name of. Uh, People supporting Obi, why the money will also come from him? We know all this, uh, all this, uh, all this game. But that is not what I'm here. What I'm here to tell you today is that Obi have failed, and we have recorded a very huge success. First of all, there are sit at home compliance in many parts of Biafra land. That is the order. Considering the fact that today is Saturday, is a very different thing. And it will not stop us from ordering other seats at home whenever there is political rally. We are not going to, we are just, we people have not seen madness now. Hey, you people have not seen madness. Everybody is calling me from everywhere. So we will say, oh, Simon, you are not listening to advice. Leave this advice what? I am speaking on behalf of Biafra people, and Biafra people agree that we are not going to have election in Biafra land. That is it. And that particular stand can never change. We are never going to change it. We can never change it. And by the time we succeed, 
it makes it sure that election did not hold in Biafra land. For those who will say, oh, leave them, leave them um, uh, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, vote, uh, uh, article will come. Uh, if you don't vote, um, uh, volatile will, will come. It's a lie. Let me tell you one thing today. We are going to declare Biafra in 2023. We are going to redeclare Biafra in 2023. And nothing will stop it. So how can Natiku be or, or, or Baratinubu be a president of Biafra land where Biafra did not conduct election? For any of them to win election in Nigeria, you need about two third or 25% from every region as, as the case may be. And without the Southeast, you can never be president of Nigeria. That is exactly where the problem is going to come from. So if you don't know the reason why, you must, we must fight. We must engage them physically and otherwise to make sure that the election didn't hold in, in Biafra land. You don't know the implication of that. The implication is that when election did not hold in Biafra land, nobody can become a president without the vote of Ndibo. And if they do it, you know that they have breached the law. We are going to declare Biafra next year. That is what I'm telling you people. So who is talking about? Because when you when when you listen to them, they say, "Oh, if you are if you are less than hold, another person will come and become president." It means that they don't actually get the message. They don't get the message. The message is that the Biafra will be declared next year. So if you declare Biafra and declare yourself independent, who is going to come and start fighting or telling you he's a president? It's not possible. And we are going to do it this time around. That is the position. So don't listen to anybody telling you, oh, if you do not, uh, if you don't allow vote in Biafra land, one of them will be declared the winner is a lie. It is a lie. Even their own people will turn against it. Because they know. They know the implication of that. Even those supporting them will turn against declaration of anybody a winner. <laughs> I am telling you the fact. Somebody made a comment here, which uh, <laughs> somebody say, somebody say, somebody is going to come our forest starting from November. <laughs> I do not know, you know, the person that is combing our forest starting from November anyway, but. But whoever, whoever that is going to comb our forest, you know, uh, good luck to him. Uh -huh. You know, good luck to him, the person who is going to comb the forest of Biafra. <laughs> good luck to the person. Now, I want you people to understand one thing. I didn't know anything, no. My, you know, what, what did I know? I don't know anything. My own is just to get information from a... Uh, from uh, uh, social media. <laughs> so, my own is to get information from social media. What did I know? If somebody get a, get a, um, a, a power to comb our forest, good luck to him. Okay? They say, all those Okari want to comb the forest, good luck to him. What did I know? Uh -huh. So, but uh, if he's going to comb the forest, let him start talking now, no? Uh -huh. If all those Okari is going to comb the forest, let him start talking it now, no. Let him start giving press conference. So let him start writing interview so that people will be aware that he's coming to come our forest. Uh -huh. Because you know, he cannot be, I don't know where he said it to, but he cannot be saying it. He should be giving press conference, he should be saying it to the public. You know, his mouth is always very wide. Uh -huh. We want to see him as he used to run, uh, uh, you know, going to all the television station and to talk and all that. So let him continue the way he is running around the television to comb our forest. But it is not audio combino. Let him come and do it. We are waiting for him. I don't talk my own finish. What did he me? My own is to respond to them, okay? <laughs> all right. So now, somebody say I should talk to them. I do not know who, <laughs> I do not know who, I'm going to, you know, talk, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know who I'm going to talk with, but I'm just telling you that I don't wait to consign me. Uh -huh. Somebody, you know, I want to tell you people one thing. Enugu Ezike is already on, on the, you know, on the pipeline. So people should stop talking about Enugu Ezike. Enugu Ezike is on the pipeline. Enugu Ezike has been acknowledged. Enugu Ezike, you know, we are going to seal it, protect it, defend it. So nobody should worry about Enugu Ezike. Enugu Ezike is, is going to be intact very soon. So now, as I was saying, yesterday I told you people that those who were recruiting some, some, um, Kai Kai people to come and fight us. I did not know somebody, you know, uh, <laughs> if you people know that even some of these criminals are working with this man, you will never believe it. Some of the criminals are working with the man who are recruiting people from the other side of the Afra land to come and attack our Eastern security network. They are working with, with him. They are working with him. I'm going to play one audio for you people to understand that after I was making some comment, they were so bitter. Some of them say their commander is missing. Their second in commander is missing. Well, I don't know who the hell your second in commander is. If your commander is missing, how is that my business? But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that that those people that are recruiting people to come and kill our people, where is your second in command? That is my question. And after I ask that question, I want you people to come and listen with me. One woman in uh, in um, in Holland, part of these criminals, we chased away. I want you people to help me and listen to this. I will not. I'm not going to listen to this one alone. Listen. Oh, hey, Biafra. <clears throat> All oh, here, the kingdom of uh, Tuko Kabia Mabiafra. Tuko Gozera Union Dwemers in Nande Kano. Good evening, everybody. Um, there is something I just sent here right now. Um, it's a comment I saw in a comment of an autopilot. I don't know if he was the one who wrote it or the, the chief infiltrator. I don't know, maybe this is his tweet today or something. But why the comments draw my attention is because of um, a brother in this platform said yesterday that uh, <coughs> we lost the commander. Please, if that brother is, is listening, confirm this comment, uh, 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 this write up from an, uh, uh, an infiltrator. The, com uh, the commander we lost, you, 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 were, you, were, you were lamenting yesterday we lost the commander and you, you said you, you lost the commander and the brother. Did we lose them in the hand of the infiltrators or why they were combating with uh, uh, our other enemies? Because if it is that the infiltrators are fighting us, then it's high time we brace up and do the need for. It's high time we brace up and do the need for. The people will hear them. They say if the infiltrators, they are not talking about, you know, that the the person probably my comment about somebody, those who are recruiting people killing ESN are one of them. Are you hearing it? That those commanding those coming to kill our people are one of them. Are you people hearing it? Now, you sh that is what you should be asking yourself. These people did not react to the attack of a Bubago. They didn't react to the attack of a Bubago. In the in attack coming in the name of a Bubago. They didn't, uh, you know, they don't care today. They are not going to brace up when the people coming in the name of the Bible come to attack our Eastern Security Network. They are not bracing up. It was not. A, it was when they begin to go down. When those who have come to kill our men begin to go down. We told them. You know, one thing is that 
We are not those who will come and start making noise on social media. I ask that man who have been recruiting people to come and kill our people. Where is your second in command? They say we come to social media to brag, and it is time to brace up. If all, if you threat us, I've started fighting them. I've started fighting them, which is are those in Ebubago and their commanders. I want you to listen to this. Very interesting, you know? And the person is the name is uh, is it Obi? This one you are listening to now is a woman called Obi in the Netherlands. Part of Ndoshi. Listen to them. Because if it is that the infiltrators are fighting us, then it's high time we brace up and do the need for. It's high time we brace up and do the need for. They are not bracing up in a Bubago and Co. IPOP owns Biafra land. Mazina the Kanu created, there was a reason why he created units in every state of Biafra land. If it is true that these people are fighting the infiltrators with their, recru their, 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 their recruited enemies, are fighting our ESN, to rest them to come, to come aside to boast of it like this, then IPOP has to brace up now. Every hand must be on deck. Are you ever listening? Every hand must be on deck. I want to hear more about this. Campus go be able for now. So the person you hear the voice now is called Obi in the Netherlands. So literally, she is part of those sponsoring the Bubago and sponsoring those coming from that place to kill our people, where they are recruiting them. That is what it means. But they hide under the leadership, the ex-leadership. And today they are crying. These are the people who will want you to come and donate money to them. Who are they going to give the money to? ESN don't work with them again. Nobody in the ESN will communicate them again. So who are they going to give the money to? Although, of course, they never give ESN money. You know, <laughs> you know, but I want you to listen to another one. It is good to be playing this for audios, you know, so that they will know that we are even inside them as well. My brother, you can't talk about it. I tell you, because only get a man, 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 ผมก็ปัสสาวะอยู่ผมก็ปัสสาวะอยู่นะมาซึ่งเลยโปรดบอกว่าอันนี้อเมริกาอันนี้อเมริกาเลยเป็นก็สินอนอารมณ์วิจ
So that boys and easy, ka 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 this uh, ka this one, get him get him get him off yourself. This one, you know, he wants me to be to be born and easy. easy. <laughs> Chai, you can go. You know, it is really really unbelievable. How can people be you know very heartless and or very unreasonable? Very heartless and very, very unreasonable people. <laughs> you know, you know, also can never be this Come on, I need to a moment. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, what this guy wants is so that Samanapa will look like this. Right, we are going to have a question and answer time. And today, because you know, I have just come here today to tell you the progress we have made and to tell you how this whole thing has flopped, especially 
the OB couldn't appear in the uh, mega rally and they could not present themselves. But then each, each time they turn around, they tell you to come to Nigeria and leave from the front. Obi did not leave from the front in his own region out of the fear of the unknown. So our line is open and please go straight to question and uh, let us answer you. Okay. Welcome to the program. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, my brother, Simon, I love you so much. Listen to me. Yeah? You are the guy in the issue. Even though before nine Carlo, when we went to number nine, can number one. Oh, we have to check why now, eh? These people, every time we need to go against them. Give a hand up, hand up, choke. Go on and wait. Give me a quick hand up. I'm with your hand up. My brother, listen to me. Yeah, see that one day, and I was calm, which are simple. I was there to help you. Yes. But what you do? Then he has to be in there. He has to be every time. Let let me tell you something. If you are my own enemy. In a chumoketa, and Kwasai go and be in a chumam where I'm bra, in a chum, you chum too much. Get talking out of the same room. So I got rude, so I'm not Hanna Keta, eh? I saw that's not a naked Jebu Nandi Carlo, Alusuke, Bundia, or Grand Chico. Not Emana, Emana, every German, my brother, Emana, Unamaro, Enem, eh, Emana, Eni, oh, you have an old case is here. So we are watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are watching. Every time, in a open mind, <laughs> yes, I understand you. I understand you. I believe, uh, I believe, I believe uh, a lot of people are, uh, you know, are the Imane Kerore. Simon, Simon, and I get the right here today. Oh, you're right. But you're there, Nick, and you're there, Nick, and already. Uh huh. I don't know. 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 My sister, I don't know what that's all. I have a shock. Okay, I can't walk Okay, I then only do I can name up nurse only UK. She do I can name when I UK. I'm saying, my man do where I UK. I'm not the only one. I'm not by my sister. No, no, no. As I just told you, as I, I said, don't, don't worry. Because I'm, I'm, in a one biafra, so they are listening to you. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, the line is on. Please, if you are calling, just one two minutes and you ask your question, and we continue. Please, we don't need the uh, we don't need the advice of what to do. Just ask your question. You're welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you, Mazi. This is Mazi speaking, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Mazi. Uh, please, uh, our would our will our mothers, please. I want to know if uh, because you know. This uh, meeting in August now, our mothers they used to be deceived by wife of the governors or the reverend fathers. Please, I hope that our mother are in touch with our mothers at home because 
the wife of governors or through the grandfather might deceive them. So please, this is very important, okay? So they can they can be in line with what we're doing because they may use wife of the governors who have not spoken. None of them have ever condemned the killings of the children. They claim to be first ladies. They have never talked. Or the reverend fathers in the villages, please, they should, be, uh, they should talk to them so they'll they be away. Everybody should call their mother to inform them, not to listen to any of them in case they buy them for any meeting. Please, thank you. All right. Noted, noted. All right, I'm gonna take a few calls and then uh and then uh we uh we call it a day because <laughs> tomorrow we we'll start an hour the normal broadcast and exposition. There is an announcement that I need to do um on uh, Pastor Rose. Okay, all right, so we have uh Autopilot group in Germany. Autopilot group in Germany. So if you are in Germany, if you are in Germany and uh, you want to, you want to be uh, part of the autopilot IPOB in Germany, I am going to put the number, the WhatsApp number, so you can. Uh, You can contact them one moment. All right. All right, uh, autopilot IPOB Germany is this uh, number, so you can, you know, is a WhatsApp number. You get if you are in Germany and you want to be part of the group, you can contact them there. All right, uh, welcome to the program. Your question, please. Hello, my. My question, Mr. Simon, is is there anything you guys are doing about like writing a letter to some of our intelligentsia? Last time, you remember when son of Ungozi Bonjiwala has said about dissolving Nigeria? This kind of people, don't you think it's right to write a letter to them, tell them they need why they should support Biafra? Let that letter be a witness. When Biafra will come, they will understand we inform them. Is Not there anything we are doing about them? All right, thank you. Noted, thank you. And uh, please, uh, our media team, our media team should be picking a uh, point. Very, very important. Media team should be picking up some point, especially this particular point that this caller raised now. Please, I want uh, our media team to take note of that. And uh, we are going to, you know, uh, talk about it, uh, you know, later. So please. Take a very, very note or a very good note of this point. Very important. You're welcome to the program. Yeah, I'm not sure you don't know what I'm I have a lot of questions, but I can have a question today. I just two comments I want to make. Please. The last call now. Oh, my I'm not sure 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 I'm not
Okay. Yeah, but my baby don't. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, one thing to you know, because before, when you make uh, this uh, 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 state of the nation, they say, they say, the, um, the place you used to make it and the place you used to make normal program is different. That yes. one you know, that, not that, not that, not that. When you started, uh, please, it, it projects a lot of power. That was the important thing. The situation room, you know, when you go there, you get a situation room. It projects a lot of power. Please, can you restore it? Noted, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, uh, another one. Oh, um, please, Marcy, I was listening to one of your, uh, one of your old programs. I, I want to ask you, what makes you to, eh, what, what motivates you to take risk? Because I was watching a lot of your program. You take risk. You don't care what you come, but what gives you the motivation to do what you do? The motivation, I I what gave, you mean to give, do what I do or to do what I do for Biafra? For Biafra, to take in, and maybe I say I think it's part of your life. What, what, what give what give me motivation? Listen, listen. What give me what give me motivation is my passion to help my people. That's number one. Number two is I am very very optimistic that Biafra is coming, which is freedom. Number three is freedom. Number four is freedom. Number five is freedom. Number six is freedom. Number seven is freedom. Number eight is freedom. Number nine is freedom. Number 10 is because Nigeria has collapsed. So somebody have to do it. Somebody have to take the risk. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know what, what, what gives you the power to do this. But you, God. 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 God will protect you and make we will arrive from just the you see, you see? because I want you, I don't know what gives you the you know you take risk where nobody can take risk, you do it. That is what makes us that is what makes us uh, human. The life itself is risk. It's just that you utilize your own risk very well. One thing is that everybody who thinks they are not taking risk today are just lying to themselves. You understand. So you, you have to stand up and be a man and utilize your risk to make an impact to the society and change the world. So I am using my own risk because the life itself is a risk. Going out, you are coming back is not guaranteed. So life itself is a risk. Business is a risk. Everything in life is risk. Do you, understand? you don't know that? Uh -huh. There are people who are, there are people who have a, uh, there are people who go out and they never come back. There are people who die for no reason. Yes. So it doesn't matter what you do. It's a, it's a risk. The only thing you do is when that the, the God you... The other side, what? When they check them, they cry like a little girl. They run away like a little girl. <laughs> Not to call them uh, uh, terrorists. They run away. But you don't care about that. No, 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 no. You see, because I am well informed. That is the difference. I am well informed. And anything that come out of my mouth today, I will stand anywhere to defend myself. So it's a different thing. You don't uh, you don't expect somebody who don't know anything to, to talk the way I'm talking. I'm well informed. What I'm fighting for is what all the people in the world have fought for. So my own is not different. God bless you. Thank God you. God bless you, my Thank you. Nothing, please, can you give us more information about this all day? All day that you play? <laughs> I think I think the media I think the media team. Will uh, will uh, make uh, you know the media team. You people are hearing. They say they need more information about this up here in Holland, so you people can make it available. So I, don't, I want to pinpoint on the, the person. I want to. We need more information on this up here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. God bless you, Mazi. Yeah. Again. Bless you. Bless you. All right. Uh, we continue. We are going to have more calls uh, in the next twenty minutes at least. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. The line is on. Welcome to the program. Hello, brother. 
Hello, welcome to the program. Hello. I'm very, very happy to get you today. Whoa. Your voice is not coming out. Uh, okay. Uh, can you hear it now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead. And one day more, my brother, I'm happy to get you today. I've been trying for a very long time. You know, we began this together, but uh, a long time. Those who come, oh, those who come, you become more powerful than we do. <laughs> anyway, and that's how it's supposed to be. I thank you for all you are doing for us, because I told you last time that if not for you, we would have been forgotten. We know we are doing Zoom meeting. You know. Hello. Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay. I thank you so much for what you are doing for us because why I'm speaking English is that uh, I just want to let our brothers to understand what we are in. Like the question that you ask, you you ask now for we to be asking you because nobody is island of knowledge anyway. Yes. Uh, there's somebody, there's somebody that I know. If we can able to liaise with, if he still have his senses intact as he used to. I think uh, he will do something. Uh, maybe maybe you have his link or whatever. Philip Emma Gwalem. Yes. Uh, yes, I think, yes. Uh, yes. Philip Emma, Philip Emma Gwalem was drove away from Nigeria during Shagare time when he wanted to plant this internet in mm. Nigeria. Mm. They drove him away. And they said that he's a Nyamre Dambanza. That was what they called him then. Mm. So... If it will be possible for you to get in contact with him, we are trying to bring our brothers, those who can be meaningful to us and those we who can be messed up along the run. Yes. There's no problem. What we need is the good thing that will come out from them. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. So, so please, uh, media, media, media team, media team, take note of this. Take note of this. I want after the broadcast, uh, you people give me anyone I ask you to. Uh, to take note of you, you know, you know, you have to send me the information after the broadcast. Please, very important. Our media team, yeah, go ahead. So, now, like uh, what we are saying, this uh, this country that called uh, UAE, where we are in now, I mean, UAE, we need somebody that can lead us on. Last time I saw somebody that was calling you, he, he was asking of how would how do we meet in UAE? Not meeting by um, making money for themselves. And mm. uh, I myself, I'm very, very optimistic to myself. I'm very, very careful because my what they did to us when we were Mazos made me to be very, very careful. I lost people then from my own side. And I don't want to be involved in something that will make me like that. That's mm. why, because some of these people are criminals. When they come, they would like to be, to be online. They would like to be at the top to <laughs> control everybody. Yes. So that's where my grievance is. Anybody that is going to tell you to do um, to give them line or whatever to authorize them to do one meeting or the other. I have men here, mm. but we are not organizing ourselves the way they should. So, if there's anyone in UAE that can able to be held responsible to organize our people, at least once in a month, once uh, two two times in a month, even if there's no money, but let us make sense and long run so that our name will be counted in the list. That's where my own is. So, you people should organize yourself and give us number. You know, get to the media team, organize yourself, send the number to us, and so we can announce it, and people can begin to join you there. Okay, thank yeah. you, my dear brother. All right, thank you. all right. How is my school? Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, welcome to the program. Hello. Please, if you call, you have to you have to uh, ask your question so that uh, there won't be any problem. Okay. Welcome to the program. 
Okay, Simon, I, 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 I went through, I learned, I, hello? Yes, I know my name, yes. Okay, the, the, Biaf the Biafran chapter, the Biafran chapter you went through last time, mm. is there anybody that is collecting responses for people that they want to submit uh, Hello? Yes, friend. go ahead. You know, you are listening to, you are listening to, to your, the program. Listen to, Listen to the phone. Yes. Okay, okay. Mm. So I was asking, any, is there any collection center for some people who want to send like memorandum to the chapter? Uh, well, uh, that would make well, that would be made available very soon. Immediately, uh, the government in Ezal have made their first, uh, uh, you know, state of the nation address. I think some things will be made available. But whatever you want to suggest now, you can suggest it, and it will be noted down. No, not no, not not like not like the not like the uh, the uh, what you know but like if you like the you know, suggestion is that you would want you would, for example you would want uh, to, to to open a channel for people to suggest something based on the charter you understand that becomes a suggestion yes, yes, uh, so yes. it becomes a suggestion and then we can we, it can be noted down and then at the right time you it will make the public Okay, one other question is, is there any, like I know that uh, Biafra is here, is there anything that technical team, scientists that were being put together to hit the ground running in terms of our technological developments? Everything is, uh, you know, uh, happening, but you know, you can never say that you are ready and you have everything. So, <laughs> yes, you know, yes, so, uh, but yes, and everything is, we, we are doing and uh, making sure that everything is put in place and those that are not available, the room is open for somebody to start it. So if you're in that field, you can actually start it or, you know, and build the team and bring the team and present the team to us. And we start from there. That's why we are calling everybody, everybody who, yes, that's why we are calling everybody now because we may not have time. Yes, I know the time will not be there. Mm. I know the time will not be there with all this is going on at the same time. Yes. How is Abraham? He's fine, he's fine. It's fine. Eh? I hope you are having enough for us, my brother. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, Asonyendu, Asonyendu, Asonyendu is not here. Asonyendu is not here. All the bullet is going one place. So we have to be able to be very strong. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. May God strengthen to you and give you wisdom. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the program. Good evening, Mazin. Good evening, Dewo. I'm so available. Uh, we're all available. I'm an Ismani, everybody, even in the full and itself, and who see so what? I had. You can't get in a you know, I'm a missus, I'm a missus, my wife, you know, and uh. Just keep on God will strengthen you more. Uh and I'm apart from you know, as you say, but you see where now Nigeria. Yes. So Ian Toriko Maki Mega Tata. Okay. Maka real issue and campaign issue. Asim Ku can mbo our later a move good you will jim why on the buy deep buying and a hand me No 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 my brother don't go there just ask question we are not here for suggestion we know what we are doing okay okay yeah. okay I suggestion is can we or is there any way we can use to tell our people the importance it is to sacrifice ourselves for the sake of our freedom meaning it is it we are i think i think uh, we, we are creating we are creating awareness and we continue to create awareness what was yours was only creating awareness we have created awareness we continue to sustain the awareness we have created already okay thank you my brother okay. all right thank you very much
Hello. Hello, welcome to the program. Hello. Hello, welcome to the program. Hello, good evening, Mazi Samuel Aba. Good evening, Dewo. And Dewo, Martin Ike. Dewo. Nah, we, are, you, are you with you? Let's go photo, photo lady today. Photo, which one? Photo president? Photo, uh, photo lady. Right? Okay. <laughs> This one, this one, this one, self, this one, self. Buhari better pass this one, no. Buhari, Buhari, can we have money? Samuel, may God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, because we are I am going to be to be a I am going to be a good person. I am going to be a good I am going to be a good person. 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 I am going the, of course, in other provinces, the people will be using their local language to be running the government. So I think from there it will transit to uh, becoming the the language of the of the Republic of Biafra, as the case may be. So from from it from the beginning, from start, we will have English, you know, as the as the official language of communication. But then we are working on having our language, of course, the language that will unite everybody. Okay. Mm. Okay. Do we have any WhatsApp group here in uh, in Benin Republic? Any WhatsApp group here? Yes, there is Benin Republic. I think they have Benin Republic. I need to uh, autopilot South Africa, autopilot Gabon, South Africa, Benin, Benin Republic. Yeah, there is Benin Republic, but it will be available. I will ask them to make it available because I don't have it here now. But I think there, yes, there is because I have had meeting with them in Benin Republic. Okay, mm. God bless you, Thank you. We are sorry to be behind you. Thank you very much. All right, uh, welcome to the program. Oh, the number is calling, a number is calling. A lot of calls coming at the same time. Welcome to the program. Hello, good evening, Mazi. Good evening. You gonna you are going to be the last caller. Yeah, Mazi, I just want to thank you for um, all you've done. We really appreciate all you've been doing, and uh, we just pray that God will continue to strengthen you and give you the grace you and the fortitude to continue to push ahead and. Uh, lead us to our destination you say amen yes yes also to remind you the convener of uh stand yesterday thank you so much for all you do thank you for calling thank you for calling yes thank you thank you all right thank you all right so here we go and of course i want to thank you all for being part of this program we're going to continue our normal exposition as usual so join us tomorrow again we are going to go deeper into fulani uh, you know, what you don't know about them in the past and uh, connecting it to the present and leading to Biafra war and all that. So we're going to go there tomorrow. Don't miss it. It's going to be very educative, very interesting. In fact, all the photo, all the photo campaigners, you know, photo president, photo, photo campaigning it has become photo. The, the campaign in Nigeria now is no longer ordinary campaign. It has become photo campaign where they will bring seat, bring the people of the person contesting, put it there, and the people, and nobody will sit on the, on the seat. And I there. This has never happened anywhere. This is the first time it is happening. We are campaigning. Somebody you are campaigning for could not come. And we that we are coming every day to talk, they say we should come to Nigeria. Come and leave from the front. You bring a picture. Place the picture on the seat. Because they know that they are not coming. That is the one that even blow my mind. They even know that they are not coming. So picture represented them. And I did not finish the story of how the marriage of uh, Europe and uh, and the uh, village, you know, those people that, uh, you know, we are in Europe, 
they want to marry in the village and they will use their picture and you know marry so it is not a bad thing a lot of people a lot of people marry like that but has it gotten to the extent of people campaigning for, to become president could not come could not make themselves available now the country you want to lead and yet they are saying the man in Rock is not is a photo president which one is more photo than this this one is that he's in Nigeria there. He's not in abroad. This one is that he's even in, probably in the Southeast. He is not in even other part of Nigeria or in Abuja. One hour flight. He did not come. It is only photo. Even the vice did not come. At least if he did not come, let the vice come. Photo rally. And they are not even ashamed of themselves to bring empty seat. Empty seat of a man. You want to become the president of your country. Don't you know that you started very bad? They have started very, very bad. Without becoming a president, you are already campaigning for photo. There has never been anything very awkward like what I saw today. Very terrible. They are shouting, oh, Obi is coming. Obi is coming. Obi already started giving you picture. Go and represent. Picture will represent me. Picture and this is the same thing that will be. Obi did not. Obi is not coming to become president. I have been telling you people this thing, and that is why we can never allow him. Obi is not coming to become president. The only thing Obi is coming to do is to make us have the program I'm having now to distract the Biafra struggle. When they were having election, election Labour Party was contesting election, governorship election. Obi left the campaign and went to Egypt. He left. He couldn't go there. When they asked him, why did you not go and campaign for a Labour Party? Why every other person is campaigning? He said, he did not, it was not part of the agreement. Obi said, it was not part of the agreement between him and Labour Party. That he told Labour Party, whatever they have decided in the past, he, is not, he has nothing to do with it. That his uh, relationship with them start now. Who does that? And somebody was contesting for ele for a governorship election in one of the Yoruba states. Obi did not go because he was never a serious person. He was never. He was never a serious person. Now they are campaigning and making rally for him. People trying to force us to be Nigeria. They come from Medo. They come from Lagos. They say Obi must contest. Obi must contest. Obi don't want to contest. You are pushing him to contest. He did not come to your rally. You are still shouting Obi. You bring the picture. The same thing they did to this man in Asorok now. When we told them, this man is not going to lead you. This man don't have certificate. They say, even if he bring Nepal B. Stupid Nigerians. Even if they bring Nepal B. To show, say, Buhari have Nepal B. They will accept Buhari. All of you, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten the same stupid youth in Nigeria today who don't know they are left and right? Very ignorant youth. Ignorant youth, youth that cannot think with their brain. You that full and knee, you the brain and have They don't think. That's why some of us are very irritated when we hear, when we see them, when we see them displaying ignorance. The same thing today, Obi did not come there. They bring the chair, golden chair. You know, they put the picture of Obi, put the picture of that, put the picture, because I will the the Roma. the Roma. They know it. They risked their life and Obi was somewhere watching from TV. Ah, uh, is anybody coming there? Have they shoot God? Is anybody shooting? Obi was watching. That did not happen. May God bless you. May God bless Biafra. May God bless Masin Amikano. May God bless Sunday Iboho. May God bless Issa Security Network. May God bless our government in Ezra. May God bless Omada. May God bless all our media team. May God bless all of you, our alliances, BNG, BNL, all of you. May God bless you. May God bless you and bless you and bless you very good. May God bless those supporting us, sharing our information and all that to make sure that the awareness is created. Remember, do not miss tomorrow, broadcast. It's going to be very, very educative. Very, very interesting. From here, from me, it is good evening. On our go.
Navago for 